Hey y'all, it's Gary Calger here, KB8UGP, and I want to show you an antenna that's been floating around on the internet here, and on uh, YouTube. It's called the uh, tape measure antenna, two meter antenna. And I made one, but I went a little bit further on mine. I used, uh, they've been using a three quarter inch PVC pipe. I went with half inch. I want a lighter weight on the thing. But what I want to show you, most of the guys been making these things where they just flap in the wind. I took and put the tubing all the way out on mine. Made it a lot more stiffer, easier to use, a lot more efficient. And also, I thickened it up. The more mass you get, I put a tape measure on both sides and bolted it on the ends right there. And also in the center. As you can see, I put a small screw in there in case I ever want to take this thing apart. But I've done that on the reflector and also on the detector. I meant and thickened it up on both sides there where uh, it gets a little bit more mass, a little bit more bandwidth what you want bandwidth and also I put a gimmick on mine I put a gimmick on mine as you can see here now this gimmick what I put on there now I used a uh, TV cable connector and the reason why I use TV cable connectors because they're easy to get a hold of TV cable hey don't let it be fooled that you can't use 75 ohm. This thing, I've got match 1-1 one, one in the uh, middle of the band. And it goes out to about a, uh, a 1.7 on each end of the band. From 144 to 148, it's about a 1.7. But in the center of the band, I can get this thing down to 1-1. One, one. Now, as you can see there... How I got that fastened on there with the ground and everything. And what I went, went a step further, let me get the light out of here, out of here on the ends, where my PVC pipe ends out here, I made two pieces, one inside the other there, made a slip where you can adjust these aerials on this. Now on this it's driven element here, I only put it on one side. And I'll tell you why. It'd be kind of hard to adjust both sides at one time. So what I've done, I used wire ties, but I did not tighten them down real super tight. I snugged them up where I'm able to still slide this thing in and out. And I'll show you here. See, I can pick that thing up and slide that thing clear out to the end if I want to. Then I can also slide that thing back in. Getting the hold over there. Like I said, I, you got it snug. I got it snug here. But I'll slide that back in. Let's see here if we can take and get this camera turned around here. There we go. But I can slide that back in. Just like that. And I got a mark on there. Where I take that to. But uh, you can slide in and out. Either way. It don't make any difference. But uh, that's how I get my SWR down. Is sliding that piece in and out. Right here. Now this gimmick, what I'm going to show you here, I'll get my uh, other tape measure out here, the one I ain't cut up yet. Now this gimmick on here, which is this piece here, all it is is like a horseshoe on there. 
Now I got everything bolted together. Everybody else wants to solder theirs. I like bolts, nuts and bolts. Now I made this gimmick four inches by one and a quarter inches wide. That's how I made that on there. Now the reflector on here get the tape measure on reflector on there trying to do all this and hold the camera at the same time sometimes it don't work but I made that thing 40 inches made that 40 inches the detector of it I made it 35 inches as you can see, I got 35 inches there. But, now this driven element, I suggest that you uh, cut your PVC pipe uh, longer. You want a total length about 39 inches from end to end. But you're going to be playing with this. Now this thing's considerably short, really. But, I've got the capability of tuning that thing down to a 1-1. One, one. Like I said, I'm going to give you a close-up view of this here, how I got that thing on there. Let's see if I can get the light down there to it. That's how I got it on there. My, folk, my camera does not focus. I'm using a GoPro to do all this. But like I said, now this copper piece right here was a piece of copper tubing I just smashed out and drilled the holes in it to uh, suit the purpose, what I needed to do. But this thing, I, I checked it. I got about 7 dB gain on it. And I put my mask in right here on it. It stands up just perfectly. Matter of fact, we'll put this thing up here like this and let you see the whole thing here. Like I said, this thing, it performs well for what it is. I got a repeater uh, that's up on the Ohio River. Now, I live in Enterprise, West Virginia. I there's a repeater over there on the Ohio River there, right there at New Martinsville. I hit that thing using only 5 watts. Using only 5 watts. It's hard to tell what this thing will do using about 35, 40 watts. But I wanted it for QRP. But that's what it is. The distance between the uh, reflector and the driven element is 16 inches. Between the uh, detector and the driven element is about 20 and a half inches on there. And like I said, it all depends on your tape. Now, I used a three-quarter inch wide tape measure, what I used. And you can buy them family dollar store El Cheapo tape measures. You know, they, I already cut the end off of this one. There's still some left in it. But, uh, like I said, this this thing works good for what it is. So, all right. Y'all take care now. KB8UGP. With the 144-148 tunable, tunable tape measure antenna with tubing. See y'all later. God bless. Bye-bye.